today I wanted to showcase my HO Strasbourg Railroad Thomas. In this video, I will show you the reason as to why I made this model and the methods I used to make it. So first, I wanted to take a whack at a Strasbourg Railroad Thomas because as someone who lives in the US, that locomotive is the real Thomas to me. Out of all the dummy units used in the US, the Strasbourg Thomas is the only full-size steam-operated Thomas. The fact that it is a real steam tank engine to me makes it feel that much more real. And if I ever wanted to model a realistic real-world location, for once, putting Thomas on the layout wouldn't be annoying or unrealistic. And besides that, I wanted to make this model because I love the Strasbourg Railroad and have wonderful memories of seeing the Thomas unit with the closest people in my life. So with sentimental stuff out of the way, let's show the build process. This model would never have seen the light of day if it wasn't for Mainland Studios who graciously modeled a 3D body shell for me. His painstaking attention to detail and getting the measurements just right was super helpful. As it stands, this body shell is not for sale as it was a specific commission that came with the price. But once again, I can't make it clear enough just how greatly I appreciated his help. Next, the body was 3D printed and I actually have some footage from 2018 when Brendan and I were working on him. As seen in the video, we decided to spray him in a grey primer to sand down the paint and give it a smooth appearance. Next, I decided I would spray paint the model rather than hand paint as I felt that gives a very smooth look. I personally would always suggest spraying rather than hand painting for any of your models, but both methods, if done correctly, look gorgeous. Now the interesting part was the chassis. Strasbourg Thomas has six very small wheels and a piston up front. Many believe I used a Bachmann 060 or a Porter base for the model, but I actually didn't use either. The Bachmann 060, in my opinion, was too beautiful a model to destroy just to get a chassis. And you can see with my Porter model, using a Porter 060 chassis would be rather out of scale, meaning the body shell would need to be much bigger and wouldn't look as realistic. No, instead I used some El Cheapo 060 I found on eBay. I wish I could tell you what brand it was, but I have no clue. It's a very old model. However, when the chassis arrived, the motor was gigantic, so big thank you to Brendan for doing a motor swap. We swapped the old motor out with a Bachmann Percy motor, rewired and all. Here's a test run. The face used on the model is just your stock standard wooden railway Thomas face, with the eyes repainted to look to the side, just like the real unit does. And that, everyone, is how I made the H.O. Strasbourg Thomas. I don't really have an H.O. layout, but I'll set one up super quick so I can showcase the model running. I will be using some old Bachmann coaches that resemble the coaches used on the Strasbourg Railroad. The company Roundhouse does indeed make Strasbourg coaches, but the few I had, I sold. And those things are pricey. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more model showcases.